kidding. The original show. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah I, I did too. Jimmy Fallon doesn't ask, ask questions like that, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. On the spot kind of thing. Uh, I, uh, well, it's an honor, isn't it, to be, to be a part of this? That's what I meant, it's an honor, honor. it's an honor. <laughs> I am humbled and honored. Humbled, humbled, I'm humbled. deeply, deeply grateful, Deeply John. humbled and grateful, it's uh, an honor. To be a part of such an extraordinary, extraordinary. phenomenon with such a beautiful and beautiful. utterly loving fandom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And, uh, <laughs> big up respect. Thank you for buying the house that Trek built for me in Los Angeles <laughs> and, uh, and keeping me in it all these years. <laughs> so, really. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, it's, it's wonderful to be a part. They know me. I'm always the serious one of us. So that's why John was like, start with Anthony. <laughs> He'll go there. Because I, you know, Star Trek, if you guys have heard me on stage before, for those that haven't, this growing up in Indiana with uh, the racial tension that's going on in our country, I grew up with that. And obviously Star Trek was something so much greater than that. Being the clan in our country came to prominence in my hometown. So you talk about getting serious, let's get serious. They came to prominence in my hometown seeing something like Star Trek and Nichelle Nichols on screen and not having anybody on screen treat her the way they used to treat me as a child, I knew there was something special about this. So, how, how did you look at the little red dress there in Indiana? <laughs> I said, how did you look in the little red dress in Indiana? So I just, I knew there was going to oh, be- Oh, come on people, it was funny. <laughs> But I wasn't talking, I, I didn't wear the dress. What I'm saying, the point of this He wore is, the booties though. He wanted to get serious. The point is, you guys literally started something that has blessed us, not just buying houses, not just bringing us out 15 years after we all got fired from our jobs. Because <laughs> we did. We did it, through no fault of our own, we got fired. And 15 years later, you're let go. You, <laughs> Ceremoniously. They wanted to have the Dr. Flops comedy hour, I, I say. And I can't. 15 it down. years uh, later, 15 years later, you're still bringing us out. 50 years later, you're still loving this thing that got started, this little engine that could. So we are truly just blessed. Thank you guys so much. Chris, thank you. That's the answer. For me.